Well, it's Thursday morning, 734, 28 degrees. This is gonna be just a quick cold poop walk <clears throat> is the plan. And then we, uh, we're gonna get back home and we have a house guest that's scheduled to, to be over all week, which you'll learn about in a minute or so. <clears throat> That's just me, Bo. Yeah. Bo, here, come on. Let's get a move on. I guess we're gonna go down and see Mr. Cougar since we're already up and out. Oh. She wants to go down the steps, but we're not gonna allow it this morning because it's just too cold out here right now. <clears throat> so now we're kind of walking down the ramp to see Mr. Cougar. It's a nice little walk. I mean, it's not too extreme. and allows Bo a little bit of time out of the house. And, uh, oh, somebody's coming up. Yeah, they had pause at the base of that ramp. Bo, here. Here, here. Come on, come on. Put their facial coverings on because of the, uh, the hazard. Hey, Bo. Bobos. Well, that's Mr. Cougar. A statue we know all too well. Yeah, that river looks a little too cold for any dog swimming this morning, I'd say. Bo, here. Come on. What's all this? <laughs> Bobo, here, here. Come on, come on. Oh geez, what the hell's going on now? Well, there's the new house guest. Come on out, Mango. That's big boy food right there. And the question is, is he gonna kind of mark up the inside of this great, well-kept house? That's the main question. Hey, come on out. Or you go in, I gotta get the crate. Letting warm air out, Bobo. Mango, come on. Come on. Come on. That's yet another dog I have no control over. Mango, come on. Go. Mango, that's a bear. Come on. Well, whatever. That's just a bear. I think that he's having little trouble with the bear there. Bo, here, come on. Mango, come on out. Good.
I never really realized how loud two dogs are. Okay, let me get this dog out of this cage. How are you, how'd you do, Bo? There you go. Okay. Oh, you guys ready for lunch? Huh? Who's ready for lunch? Oh, yeah, get him, Bo. You know who's top dog. All right. <clears throat> That's for Bo. Hey, Mango, Mango. Here's yours. There you go. Oh, holy cow, that was quick. Don't eat mangoes, Bobo. Don't eat, oh, that's not yours. Oh. Well, this is not real easy right now. But we're gonna do this kind of as a test case. We might end up going ahead and just leaving Mango in this cage. So me and Bo can do our normal walk, but uh, I anticipate Bo being off leash here in a minute. This way, Bo. Come on. Well, this is kind of nightmarish. This little dog pulls more than I anticipated. Uh, but it's got a really cushy leash. It's quite nice. And uh, he's got a better collar, harness, weird thing than what I use for Bo. And so it's safer when he pulls up against my stern pull and command. Uh, hey, Bo, stay over here. Come on. All right. I'm not sure how far we're going to get. Ideally, we'll get some poop out of these two dogs, but uh, it's 40 degrees, quarter to five, Thursday, day one of mango. Uh, easy, boy. I'm not used to saying boy. I might just refer to this dog as a girl on a go forward basis. I don't know how Dave Warren does it with his two dogs. He uses a longer leash than I use for Bo. Standard six foot leash instead of the standard four foot leash that I use. But the trick is just not having a leash at all, but this dog here, I'm not sure if uh, he has any self-control whatsoever. Judging by his actions right now. Hey, somebody peed right there. Huh. Thought maybe he'd want to do that. Uh, Bo! I can't forget about this other dog. Nice job, Bo. Eat some dirt and some grass, I see. <clears throat> Bo, here, here. Stand down, please. Thank you. Just stay right there, okay? Stay right there. Stay right there. You too, Mango. Nice job. God darn runner. All right. Ugh. Bow up top. We're just walk along this levee right here. Bow here, come on. Uh, wrong way, dude.
That's Brea. One there. I haven't seen Brea out in a long while. Bo, here. Thank you. Go on. Go on. Yeah, we will not be doing an urban walk this evening, I think. Uh, even though Bo does enjoy it. No, nope, we're staying up. Thank you. Well, now it's 39 degrees. Uh, I got Bo right back here. Where'd she go? Oh, she's right there. Yeah, she's right there. Oh, no. Well, it's Friday morning. 46 degrees is quite warm compared to yesterday. So I think we're going through a warm spell. Um, a warm but wet spell, actually. Now, the problem is I have to do a little bit of work real quick. It's uh, 7.45. This is our normal start walk time. So I got to get some wheels in motion for work real quick. And then it might uh, it might dry out a little bit for us. And then we'll, we'll take these two out. Um, so then get some proper exercise. Not this, whatever it is we're doing now. Yeah. Mango. I thought I saw him right here somewhere. Nope. I lost mango. He's wearing a little bell, so I might be able to hear him. I could have sworn I saw him. Shit. All right, we just got mango back, so now we're gonna go out for a walk and maybe uh, tire this, this evil little bastard dog out so he don't escape on me again. Yeah, get some water, Bo. Let me change my shoes, okay? Well, it's 55, I got mango back. Uh, it's 55 degrees, 235. Uh, taking Bo for a walk, taking mango with us. Come on, mango. Come on, whoops. Sorry, Bo. I finally got her off the leash, but uh, she's already tearing up the public lawns. Pretty good. Well, the plan is to go down to swimming hole number two and then uh, see if that dead bird guts is still there. I can't imagine that it's still there, but I want to do some recon to make sure that it's uh, gone. I know exactly where it is where the wings were and the viscera and the blood and guts all in a neat little pile up there um hey bo too far bo here come on come on nice job that's why you don't have a leash okay this is where the bird was hey bo stand back yeah that's the, that's the feather right there some remnant feathers, and that is the viscera. Is that viscera, Bo? Dirt, that's dirt. Looks like some other dog, oh, come on, came up and ate it. So Bo marked the territory. So uh, hopefully that is never, ha whoops, hey Mango. Hopefully it'll never happen again. We're gonna hang down here for a few minutes as other little dogs coming up and I can't deal with two little dogs at once. 
the Andrew Euphrat was wondering if Bo's gonna go swimming. She might, come to think of it. This is a good watering hole. Oh yeah, this is <laughs> Come on, hi, baby. Say hello. Meanwhile, there's Bo. Go on, Bo, get it. Go on. Go on. Oops. Nice job, Bo. Bring it. Come on. Come on. Bring it. Bring it up. Come on. Good enough. <laughs> well, we're gonna go up a little further. Maybe another quarter mile or so. There's a nice little open area full of, uh, well, we don't really walk in the open area. It's kind of stickery, but it's not all the way to the volleyball pits, but it's a good deal a little farther. This dog here is not tired. So I'd like to get a little bit more walking in him. And then uh, probably gonna end up just locking him in the crate or cage the rest of the day so he don't run off on me again. Oh, okay. Bo! Oh, here she comes. Lost her for a minute. Uh, we're gonna go a little further than I just said we're gonna go because of uh, that. Nope. There's one trash can we know of up in that parking lot we're gonna hit. Um, what's the deal, Bo? Come on. Come on. All right, now we're approaching the trash can. That's the volleyball pits right down there. I'm not gonna go there because of the goose poop and, and such. But there's a dog in that yard right there, a big one that Bo's interested in. Uh, Yeah, this little dog is small but strengthful. Uh, the neighbor has got this leash rig with a nice uh, kind of a bungee, very ergonomic hand uh, handle. It's redundant, so it's not the hand that is in pain; it's more the shoulder. But we're gonna get this poop taken care of and then head on back. All right, we're gonna do a quick water break. Bo looks thirsty. This dog's probably thirsty too. It don't matter as much as Bo. I just hope there's not a dead fish down there. Hey, Bo, hold up. Bo! Ow! Let's see what we got. Uh, a little muddy and uh, such. Uh, I don't smell any fish. Let's see if this dog wants some. There's some birds, Bo, right there. You see them? Right there? All right, let's get some water to cheat. Come on. Mango, this is a river. You can drink of it. Go on. Go on. No. Go on. Drink. Drink! All right, if they're dying on Thursday, they're drunk by now, I guess. Come on, Bo, come on. Come on, Bobo. Here she comes. Bo, too far. Bo, here. Come on. Come on. Oh, well, this is Copper, one-year-old boy. Looks just like Bo. That's the closest uh, Bo's spoken for if we breed her next year, unfortunately. Oh, but they'd right. be a good, 
Well, I had him neutered about two months ago. Oh, okay. <laughs> he, was get, he was getting too wow. aggressive, with, particularly with female dogs. Well, good for him, I guess. taking the dog park or anything, or else he'd start, like, ripping. And he was getting in the odd fight, where when he was six, seven months, he never used to fight before. He used to just, like, be submissive. Oh, they, look, they look like siblings. Yeah. It's not Bo, right? Yes, Bo. Bo, yes. Yes, you've been in the water. Well, it's a quarter to nine on Friday. About to move over to the couch. All is quiet. Pretty quiet. That's a good jump. Well, it's Saturday morning. Breakfast time, as you can see. Doing real good, Bobo. You too, Mango, you're doing real good. You gotta eat all that. That's your allotment for the morning. Go on, eat it. Go on. Go on, eat that. All done. Bobo, leave him alone. Come here. You can help out a little bit, I guess. Hey, Bobo. I don't know if you can see my handiwork, but I had some uh, kind of bailing wire. I was able to attach that end of the quote unquote gate to the fence there. And so uh, that's what, whoa, caused Mango to escape like Bo just did. Hey, Bo, seriously? Bring me that leash. Ah. All right, that was a rookie move. I didn't have my hand in the loop for safety. All right, we're gonna go this way, come on. Come on. Go. Come on. At four o'clock, every Friday. Oh, hold up, uh, uh, You had a wild party? <laughs> Oh, but it was every Friday. What decade was this? Well, it was, uh, we had to quit it. Hey, Bo, we don't encourage that. I can't remember what year we started. It went over at least 10 years. <laughs> we started it with a guy up the street. Yeah, Bo, you're tearing up the turf. Seriously. Hey. Well, Jefferson Park, almost 8 o'clock. Yeah. Almost got the drop off for the morning. Load up. Nice job, though. Where we hiked just last week. There's that California McMansion. That's the summit right there. A little windy up here, Bobo. So the real reason we're up here is we're about to go down into the in the bent city and have uh, lunch, but uh, need to get that second poop out of her and look at this. That's about the most perfect thing you ever did see this Saturday morning. That's a really good job, Bo. That's your first poop on Horse Heaven Hills. It's a pretty country. That's Benton City. Right there. Walking 
to go through the threshold, yeah? Well, we just finished lunch. Bo is raring to go home, looks like. Go on, Bo, get it. That's Bo's first tater tot. There's his second one right there. That's her third tater tot in her life. Well, now it's 2.30 Saturday afternoon. We were, me and Ed were running a little bit late in our activities. So it's a late lunch, but I'll be okay. Well, now the late lunch is over, so we're gonna uh, take these dogs for a little walk. Mango, Mango, please walk responsibly. So we're gonna take them down to the river and do, oh, there's like a little other mango dog right there. Yeah. Okay, hold up guys, hold up. Actually, you know that gentleman. He used to have a wonderful golden retriever that died at a young age. Might say hello. Might just let Bo off the leash. Not sure how this didn't work out though. Yeah, if you're a little more well trained, little doggy, you wouldn't be uh, like this. Take it easy. Uh, Bo here. Bo, Bo, come on. Here. Stand down, please. Stand down. Thank you. Not you. Hi. Not quite morning. It's almost three o'clock in the afternoon, but it means the same. So they gave us a wide berth. Smart. Nice peeps. All right. Let's get this god darn walk over with then. <clears throat> There's a lot of high action early on. It's likely to get more boring. Easy mango. Just keep an eye on bow. Well, swimming hole number one. Actually, it's pretty nice today. It's a little muddy, but it's okay. Mango, I want to see if you can drink from the damn river. And Bo, I want to see if you can eat some weird sticks. Mango, drink. You gonna drink any of this? Come on. I'm gonna have to just... Hey, you're... Hey, dog. Your god darn leash is all jacked up. Hold on. Oh. Lightning reflex there. Hey, get some water. Hey, this is river water. You love it. You love it. Maybe not. <laughs> All right. Here's an example of a nice little dog that's off the leash. Hey, we'll get up there. This is the difference between this here dog here and then the nicely trained dog there. We're, we're getting up there. Okay, go easy, man. Go, go easy. There, everything's fine. Bo, too far. Come on. Here. Here. Come on. Well, it's probably not. That's good enough, Bo. Well, Bo's wanting to go down to face her demons again, so...
This is where she had a marijuana accident. And uh, we don't like coming down here that much, but I'm in hole number one, look pretty good. And uh, so it's really a pretty nice area here. Let's see. Right, hold on, let me get the, your damn leash. Hold on. Mango, get your leg up. All right, go. Not as good as I was reckoning. Both move it, move it. Mango, come on, come on. So, yeah. What are you gonna do? Wanna do a trick? Yeah, I'm gonna tie this dog up to something here. Hey. Hey, Bo. Go and get it. You gonna bring it? Yeah, good girl, bring it, come on. That's a nice job, Bo, come on, bring it, come on, come on. Well, there wasn't a whole lot more action going on there, so we're gonna head on down. Bo, leave that, that's trash, that's marijuana. Bo, come on! That's a trash bag full of marijuana right there, it looks like. All right, I'm glad that it, ooh, oops, Daisy. Hold up, though. It's very treacherous in this little place. Hey, leave that, bro, whatever that is. Please. Bo, here! Bo, here! Here! Bo, here. Come on. Hanks out. That's the problem. Oh. All right. Uh, looks like Hanks out. And nothing I can do at this point. Go on. Not a whole lot of action there either, but it was a nice run for Bo. And so uh, we're gonna hit swimming hole number two and then call her good. We're coming. Nice to see Hank again though. Hey Bo, go grab that lady. Go on. Go on, get her, go on. Bo, go on. Nope, this wasn't meant to be because of these damn dogs. It's all right. She looked kind of grumpy from the grumpy from the backside. <laughs> all right, um, who wants to get a little water, Mango? Bo, what do you want to do? Go on, go on. Yeah, that's the idea, Mango. Drink from the, yeah, that's the big river right there. All right, good job. Yeah, they're all dogs drink right here. All right, you want to try to find a stick or something? Let me see if I can find a stick. I don't know if I can find a stick. Well, it wasn't easy, but I did find something. To... Hey, come on, dog. Go and get it. Nice job, Bo. Solid work. Come on, bring it in. Come on. Come on. Come on. Hey, you get down. Nice job, Bo. This will be interesting. Yeah, come on down. That's okay. Hey.
Yeah, it's all good down here. Yeah. Now you go go get that stick, Bo. Yeah, it's a little one. Well, that's it. And another walk. Uh, yeah. I don't know, hope these dogs are tired out a little bit. It was about an hour. We didn't do much, but I think they enjoyed it. Let's go inside now, guys. Turn that heater on. Well, it's 8.30 on Sunday morning. It's feeding time for these two dogs. Got the brisket on about an hour ago. And, uh... We're uh, planning a mid uh, mid morning walk here. And first, we're going to feed these dogs, and then uh, um, kind of hang out for a little while, and then uh, then walk them. Hey, Bo, come over here. That's mangoes. You're doing really good, Mango. Finish all that. Go on. Finish it. No, go back. Bo, here. Yeah, we don't do free feed in this household, so I kind of have to sit here and coax uh, Mango to finish finish his bowl. But he's been getting better at it every day. You're doing real good there, Mango. Go on. Keep eating that. Yep. That's a better look at Bo right there. She's like, uh, what are you doing? Hey. Go back to your bowl, please. Thank you. guys are raring to go but first we gotta spray this brisket down a little bit this will allow it to get a nice bark right Bo? well it's 9 30 uh, 54 degrees and uh Hey, Bo, please, don't do that. So we're taking Bo out for a walk, as you can see. And uh, I guess we'll just see what happens on this deal. Well, both dogs pooped, but uh, Mango kind of did his little liquid poop. Uh, 
too far from the trash can so now i gotta haul this poop down to uh, the gazebo area trash can i've noticed the difference between bo's poops and mango's poops is bo's are always like a deep chocolate brown firm and solid and healthy looking whereas mango's is kind of uh more diuretic and liquidy and uh runny and not a joy to carry but uh it's all right that's why we have plastic bags till the california governor outlaws them and then i can see a time to save the environment we have to be carrying uh dog poops in, in uh, paper sacks and that would really help a lot for the world but it'd be really disgusting I got a baby coming up here, so. I'm probably gonna have to tie this dog up real quick here. Nothing. All right, how about this? How about this? I got something for you, Bo. Go and get it. Go and get it. Go on. Oh no. Please, Bo. <laughs> That's the last tennis ball. Uh, go on, get it. There she goes. Nice job, Bo. Bring in. Good girl. That's a really good job. Bring it in. Come on. All the way, bring it right all the way. I know it's not the best swimming area, I know. Come on. Nice job. Now there's Mr. Cougar. We're approaching the gazebo, gazebo uh, trash can, but the problem is there's a dog in the gazebo, literally. So I'm not sure how this is going to turn out, but we don't really care at this point too much. Go on, Bo, you can go see that dog. Come on. Yeah. Dude's doing push-ups in the gazebo. I've never seen that before. Huh. There she goes. I think she's on the scent of that other dog right now. Looks, hopefully it's a friendly dog. Hold up, Bo. Well, the dog was friendly but boring. So we're moving on. Uh, Bo! Parking lot, he, Bo here. Bo. That's the world's worst whistle right there. Nice job. God, there's a ton of ducks down there. I'm not sure. Hey, Bo, come on. Come on. Bo's eating goose poop like she likes to do, but... Uh, Bo, come on. All right, uh, Bo just rolled into something, but she smells okay. I just... Uh, it's hard to control Bo with this other dog on the leash. Uh, Bo, there's a ton of ducks right there to your left. You see him at all, Bo? Must be a squirrel or something. Bo, do you see all those birds? Bo. Bo, here. Bo, here. Thank you. Look down there. Look down there, look. You don't see him, huh? Well, such is the, the life of a dog walker, I guess. Sometimes the dog don't see the birds. There's a lesson to be learned in that, I guess. I'm not sure what it would be. Um, oh, that's the other dog right there. Bo. Bo, here. Bo, here, come on.
Bo, here, come on. Bo. Come on. Bo, here, come on. That's totally cheating. That's the uh, E color in action. Bo, I'm going to sit down here on the bench. Let that dog pass. Bo, we're sitting down here on the bench. Bo, Bo, here, come on. Bo, come on. Bo, here. Here, come on, come on. All right, there's another interesting dog up there. I don't know if you can see him. But off leash and looks pretty happy. So we're going to see if we can uh, get this dog there. And run this other dog. Looks like to be some kind of doodle down there. Yeah, hey, hold up, Mango. Oh, well, that was Ruby, a standard poodle, two-year-old female, obviously. And then uh, they didn't do a whole lot of running around. So if something's up with Bo, I think she's getting real sick of the neighbor dog or something. She's, but, oh, there's a squirrel. It's a squirrel alley right now, so it'd be appropriate that there's a squirrel right there from Bo. It's not easy to just tell it down here, but that's it, Bo. <laughs> You hear that squirrel? Mango hears the squirrel, that's for sure. Jump over that. Okay, good job. Yeah, it's getting real windy now, but I think there might be another squirrel in the, in the mix. Not sure. Just got to keep an eye on Bo and see if uh, she can see another squirrel. There's one. I'm coming, Bo. Hold on. There's a dog right there. It looks like one of those uh, dogs that my sister has. Corgi, I guess you call it. Like a big body, but really short legs. It's a funny looking dog. But good for sheep herding and such, I guess. Some kind of function. The function of this dog is unclear, but uh, we're not worrying about that right now. Bo, right there. 12 o'clock. See him? Bo, you don't see that squirrel. Right there. Okay, so she's another one. Okay, 
Yeah, there's one right there. Dead center. I think she might have lost that squirrel. Bo, you can't win them all. It's right in the tree right there. Okay. Yep. Another failed attempt. <laughs> Look at him. That bastard. Up there. All right. Uh, end of the line. We've walked enough, I think. End of the line, Bo, come on. Well, we just saw Lola, but uh, Bo didn't really uh, pay Lola no mind. That's that other golden retriever that we know. Haven't seen her in a while, but the problem is there's just another damn squirrel right there. So. Not quite sure what's going on now. No squirrel anywhere. Um, no dogs, no other dogs. The entire walk is just kind of broken down, I guess. What do you say, Bo? You want to just give up and go back home? Uh, oh. <laughs> Alright, Bo wants to go down one of her favorite swimming holes. So we're gonna do this real quick. Go on down. Go on. Ow. <laughs> Bo up there. I hit my head on that tree. I always hit my head on. You coming or what? There's probably a better way. There you go. Alright. This rebar right here is real dangerous. We heard a story of one guy that his dog died on the rebar. So gotta be careful about that. Hey Bo. Bring it in. Oh, you better bring that ball. Bo, bring that ball. Bo, seriously. Please fetch that up. Bo. Oh, this dog. Oh, go get that, please, Bo, Bo. That's our last tennis ball. Come on. Go on, get it. Come on. Please. Oh. That's like the bad part about having a dog as a roommate. Oh. All right. Seriously, Bo. That's the rebar shit. Bo, get out of that rebar, please. Thank you. All right, all right, get the 
hell out of here. Going up. Going. Yeah. Well, the walk here is winding down. And uh, I just got to figure out what else to do today. Uh, check on that brisket is the first order of business, I would say. Hey, Bo, here. Bo, here. Cyclists. Where's Bo going right there? Oh, okay, hold on. All right, go on. focus <coughs> well the brisket's wrapped so uh, probably another three hours or so and then we'll be eating real good right Bo yeah well it came out pretty good this is the flat I normally don't cook the brisket flats um, but pretty tender I guess I got some burnt ends for these two dogs, uh, Mink, uh, hey, here you go, Bo. That's for you. Mango, go get it. And that's also for you, Bo, because you are my favorite dog. Um, yeah, I mean, it's looking for a very small piece of meat for the week, and that's what we came up with. It's, uh, you know, nice smoke ring, I guess, but uh, it's not going to be as uh, tender as as the point. That's what I normally cook. And I uh, didn't get much of a bark on there, but pretty good. What else?